Hi guys, this is Chaplin. So today we are going to have our first interview, and I'll be um, interviewing my desk mate, which is Hello. called Edward. And yeah, he is a little bit shy, but that doesn't matter. So um, Edward actually got into University of Washington, St. Louis, for architecture major. I think uh, Was University of Washington, St. Louis, is ranked um, the first for architecture for a lot of rankings, and for the rest of the others, it was ranked like top five. So during the early decision round, uh, Edward's counselor actually ask him to kind of like early student Cornell but he actually liked WashU better so he did that and he was one of uh, I think he was like the only person who got into WashU St. Louis during early decision early decision round in our province um, so I, when early decision means early decision one yeah early decision one so yeah that's kind of a big deal I guess so today let, let's understand a little bit of like how he worked out everything so please just introduce yourself first. Okay, so hi everyone, I'm Edward from Shenzhen Foreign Language School and I just uh, and I'm going to major in architectural design in uh Washu in the future. So what do you want me to introduce? Like what do you like or whatever? Or your sexual orientation or something like that. Okay, so I prefer he and you him. Actually, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I was just uh, joking but you did it anyways. So, as for my habits. Um, I enjoy most of the arts, which include literature, music, and also uh, fine arts of design and of paintings uh, and etc. So, um, okay, I'm going to talk about my, my, my profile. Uh, actually, wait, let me ask you your profile first. Okay, okay, sure. Let me ask you about my profile. Yeah, so that there's interaction and it will be an actual interview. Okay, or else okay. I should just leave it to your channels. <laughs> okay, um, so the first question is, uh, no, no, that actually, this is the second question. What are your stats? So like SAT, TOEFL, APs, and stuff. Okay, so my stats are pretty normal and I don't think I, I I should be the high ranking with my stats. So I've got on um, a 110 uh, TOEFL with every section is above 26. Yeah, I think above 26. Mm -hmm. And and um, I actually handed in my SAT score, which is not it's really not very high, which is uh, around 14,050. Edward, and can we speed up this a little bit? Because <laughs> it's a lot of activities. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, and I've handed in my SAT two, which is eight hundred in math and uh, uh, seven hundred and ninety in physics. And also, I've got five AP with three fives and two fours. And my three fives are the AP Studio Arts three D and and um, micro macroeconomics and uh, calculus BC. And I got first in uh, physics one and human geography. You got four in physics one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't joke at me. I think most of people got got for in fix one. Really? Yeah. Wow. I think only two or three persons in our class got five out of twenty five or twenty six or thirty. Oh my god, this is shocking. Yeah, this is shocking even to me during that time. Okay, so you got you guys can see that our school isn't really a prestigious school. Um, it is not an art school. Yeah, it's but yeah, it is really worth mentioning that um, some of the APs that Edward took was really hard to take in our school or even in like the whole Chinese China main, mainland because most of uh, like a lot of the art uh, APs that he took wasn't really offered any classes in our area. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so the next question is, what are your essays for Washington University of St. Louis like? Okay, so <clears throat> as for the Washington School, it only requires one supplemental essay, which is um, the very essence of the title is, uh, the question is, uh, why major? So within this question, I based on my point on my father's career, which uh, actually like sparks my interest, interest within the architectural design field, and based on my uh, sparked interest. I started uh, some programs regarding with this interest and, start, and started to studying uh, in a design studio to promote my uh, like my interest within this field. So uh, the reason why I want to major in this field um, is sparked by my father's career and promoted by my uh, extra extra activities. So did you mention like of any specific artist or architecture? Uh, or no, I just related? fully based on myself, myself situation. Oh, okay. Would um would you like to show us a little bit of your art portfolio or introduce us like how do you make the whole thing or like what's your pro procedure of making the whole art? Support? 
how do I introduce my um, portfolio? You can kind of like say that, like what are the like what are the uh, like um, categories they put in the art portfolio, and each of them like how specifically made it, or how many times you uh, contributed to those things, and like is there a main theme for some of the like artworks or something like that? Okay, so not exaggeratingly speaking, uh, I spend almost like 25 hours per week on my uh, on my portfolio making, including uh, my one year course, which is the AP 3D course. Uh, so. My portfolio and AP3 course uh, share some of my models and some of my paintings I, uh, I did and some of them are separated. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so, so this is um, like the time cost of my portfolio making and as for the pr procedure of, uh, of my portfolio making, well first I got um, the title or the question from uh, my my teacher, which whom is also an architect and also an architectural design teacher, uh, I study with outside school, uh, and then I search for inspirations, and most of my inspirations come from the art I saw every uh, saw each day, and and I think most of all is the the nature world. So, um, uh, actually I actually do have like a few want like a few artworks that you want to specifically talk about that you think really stand out or help you during the uh, process. Okay, uh, so one project I mentioned in my common essay is uh, is called Obscurity, and it's actually a uh, architectural model, mm -hmm. uh, and the idea is based on is based on on the name clouds. Mm -hmm. So I I searched uh, I looked for this kind of inspirations when I'm when I'm doing afternoon jogging around uh, around the playgrounds within uh, the school, and I had it up and saw those ever-changing clouds and I found um, their forms quite interesting because they're always changing and, and there's uh, no limits or boundaries between each of them so it represents a kind of openness um, of the world and and I truly hope that openness will be in me when I like step out of uh, the high school life so um, based on the clouds I created this uh, model and it is a an example of how I use uh, some of nature's inspirations to to like make design. Okay. Cool. So last, the last question would be, um, what are the suggestions you would have for people who want to study architecture in the USA, like for either Rice, Washu, St. Louis, or even Cornell? Okay, so um, I think three main tips. So the first one is portfolio is the most uh, is matters the most and is actually and is definitely the most important application material you will ever need and and it is even like more important than your scores than your stats. Um, the second suggestion is that um, if you are if you are now in your junior year or senior years uh, in high school then and, and you have decided you're uh, you're going to major in architecture design field then um, that's good of you but uh, but if you are like almost fr uh, one year or several months from uh, from the application season then you need to hurry up to like uh, to hurry up making your portfolio and hurry up um, widening your widening your uh, area knowledge area within the architecture field because it requires um, quite a wide range of uh, knowledge of architectural field when you're doing some interviews from the uh, of the universities uh, and or of some other kind of uh, like preparing others application materials so the third suggestion is that um, the application season for architectural design student will be very busy because um, all the archi architectural design um, majors require an interview from some of the some of them are professors and some of them are alumni. So um, this require this, this requires you to uh, really get to know your your portfolio and how to explain it. Like you may need some spe specific topic of your uh, of your portfolio and you may need to relate that to some of the. Uh, architects or architectures you, you've known so you really need to work on how to introduce your, your works to your others um, it's not like during your application process the person who is actually determining like whether to admit you or not is not the admission officers but the people in the department of art or specifically the people who are teaching like architecture okay so from my perspective and uh, because I, I don't know whether it is a fact that I think um, the professors that uh, who are reviewing your portfolio matters the most, and their opinions are the very decisive uh, one for your application and your admission. Decisive. 
decisive. This is decisive. This is decisive. 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 Okay. <laughs> So, oh, okay, that's it guys. Thank you very much for listening and I hope um, if you have any questions about like applying for architecture um, for schools like WashU, St. Louis or whatever other schools, feel free to comment down below and I'll find friends to help answer these questions. And thank you very much for watching. For our next interview, we'll be interviewing someone who got into Rice? Or Yale. I got up Yale, but like okay. whatever. In the next interview, we'll be interviewing some guy, some uh, one of my friends who got into Yale and for also architecture. Oh my god. Yes, it is <laughs> Yale. Well, any 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 majors in Yale should should be high ranking. At least this school is high ranking, and, and Yale is probably my best, my favorite. Okay, so <laughs> um, Edward is burning, burning with jealousy now. <laughs> so subscribe and stay on top of that. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.